What's going on everyone? Raider here, finally back with another video after a crazy work week. Oh my goodness, it's great to be back. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the SV wallet case for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. We'll also be doing some comparisons to last year's case, which I was not too fond of. Let's hope they made a couple improvements here with the new case. Let's go ahead and get it unboxed. We'll take a first look and we'll go over all the features of that nice little window that most of you are after. All right, let's go. Get it unboxed here. True confession to make here, I've already been using this case for a week. That's why the pull tabs are already undone. A couple big improvements have been made to this case. We're going to take a look. So uh, they upped the ante this year. Thank goodness. So here's the case itself. I put it back just like how it's packed. This is how you'll get it. Let's throw this stuff off to the side. I did read through this manual here. There is nothing as far as the features for the window and all that. So you can just go ahead and trash it. All right. So here's the case itself. Let's go ahead and take an initial look at it. Looks to be about the same as last year's, honestly. Let's go ahead and grab those and put them side by side here. Same camera cutouts. We have the uh, flap still blocking the camera holes, right? Just like on last year's. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah, it does on the telephoto lens just a little bit. Not a big deal. Uh, we have the uh, power button, volume rockers, usual stuff, normal cutouts. I've got the violet color here. The retail price on this, I have no idea. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, let's see how this looks compared to the... Uh, titanium violet of my S24 Ultra. Quite a bit different, but I do like it. I like it. It's not like a complete purple, but uh, definitely not an exact match to the phone. All right, before we put the S24 Ultra in here, let's go ahead and weigh it up. All right, the scales tear. Let's go ahead and throw it on. 75 grams. Let's compare that to last year's. 75 grams, same weight. And one more check before we put the S24 Ultra in here. Let's feel this material here. Yeah, it feels like suede, just like on last year's. All right, let's go ahead and get the S24 Ultra in this case here real quick. Shouldn't be a big deal. All right, cool. I'll just get it in this side and in this side. Nice. We have a nice protection all the way around. Let's go ahead and take a look around the case. All right, cool. So here's our top with our microphone ports, fully wraps around. Here's our bottom S Pen audio and our USB-C. You notice we have a nice big cutout here for getting a pretty big uh, USB-C charger adapter in there. Let's check the S Pen functionality here. Mm, that's kind of even with the case. You're gonna kind of have to use your fingernail to get it out. Right, so here's our front flap with the window. Looks to be pretty much the same exact size as last year's. And we have our cutout for our speaker in the front top here. Let's go ahead and check the wallet action. All right, we'll get one card in there. Nice close, everything's flat. Now we'll slap another card in there. Let's take a look here. Mm. That's a no go. You're not gonna get a flat, uh, flat hold there. It wants to pop back up. So you're gonna get one card in there only. Keep in mind, this is not a magnetic flap. It doesn't stay magnetically closed. It just has a little magnet up here at the top to tell the S View window to kick on. One last thing to check before we start looking at the functionality is what kind of protection do we have for our camera bump here? Let's get that into view. Eh, I don't know. Not much. It's pretty flush. I mean, it's just recessed in there about a millimeter or so. It makes it a nice slim profile, but uh, yeah, not that much protection as you can see. Just enough to be adequate. Let's test out the wireless charging. Bingo, we're good. All right, now let's go ahead and try reverse wireless power share. This is where you can charge other devices from the back of your S24 Ultra. Let's get the Watch 6 Classic on here. Give it a second. Eh, eh, barely. Let's see, there it goes. All right, I gotta level with you. That, uh, that's a little sketchy. It barely kicked on. It's not, uh, it's not kicking on as easy as if you have the case off. That's for sure. Now it looked like it disconnected there. Let's try again. Come on. So reverse wireless power sharing is a little bit sketchy with this case. It kind of wants to work and it kind of doesn't. Before we get started with the overview of the S View window functionality, I do want to cover two big important upgrades that I feel are important, especially one of them. One is the material. This one feels like a silicone, kind of a smooth feel. It wants to slide around on my table. This one is more like a suede, like we had back with the S21. So they went back to that feel. So it's a little more rough, a little bit more texture on it. I like the newer one a lot more. Now here's the biggest upgrade. With the S23 Ultra SV wallet case, this power button and these volume rockers were absolutely horrendous, enough so that I stopped using the case after a few days. 
They were mushy, yet hard to push at the same time. Quite possibly the worst volume rockers and power button on a case that I've ever felt in my life. I'm not exaggerating either. Like Samsung really dropped the ball in last year's case when it came to that. This year's model, nice. Tactile feedback, just like the S21 SVU case. Samsung made it right again. I'll tell you, I swear sometimes I think they like make something worse one year. That way they can bring it back so you almost feel like it's an upgrade. Because like we used to have these type of volume buttons a couple S few cases before, but last year they made them all crappy and mushy and now they made them back like they were. So it feels like an upgrade. So for those of you coming from the S23 Ultra to the S24 Ultra, uh, have no fears with the volume and power buttons here. They are much improved on this case. Now let's go over the main functionality of the most likely reason why you're gonna pick up this case, the S-View window. Double tap to turn it on, double tap to turn it off. Swiping right will get you all your notifications as well as any stopwatches and timers running, as well as any missed phone calls and texts. Swiping to the left will show your current music that's playing. You can play and pause, you can skip tracks, and you can tap on here, come back in here, open up your phone, if I get it to it, and it'll bring you right to your now playing music. Pressing and holding the SV window allows us to change our clock. So we can go ahead and pick through all these different options. And each one of these are very customizable. Let's go ahead and take a look at these together. We'll go through these and we can go all the way to the end and we can customize the cover screen. So we go ahead and open up our phone and this will allow us to pick from the default clock faces as well as pick a custom clock background image or video so we can pick from our camera roll. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple pictures of my kiddos here. Go ahead and hit done. It's gonna show what they look like. All right, so here's both of them. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm. Go ahead and hit done. So this is pretty cool. Let me show you how this works. So the first time it loads up, it's gonna show one of my kiddos. And if I go ahead and do that and open it back up, it's gonna show the next picture here. So it's gonna switch back and forth between whatever pictures I picked. You can do that for pictures and up to 15 seconds worth of video. It gives you the ability to trim it as well. We can also fully customize the default clock faces as well. We go in here, we have different characters to pick from. We can also pick our main text color, right? We can switch between here and we can also pick between all the system colors. And the options are really dependent on which clock face you actually pick. So like if we switch to this one here, we can go ahead and hit customize. You'll see here we have a different palette of colors and our text colors are gonna be quite a bit different as well. So it varies up quite a bit on the different clock faces that you have. So you basically have complete customization of your SVU window clock widget. That's pretty sweet. And don't forget when you set calendar invites or those stopwatch, your alarms, any of that stuff, that's gonna show up right here. You can tap on that, open the app, clear it out. If we open this, it's gonna take us right to our calendar. Here we go. So basically all your day-to-day -day tasks are gonna show up in this window. If you swipe to the right like that, and if you swipe to the left, you're gonna to get to your media that's playing. So pretty cool functionality built into the SV window. Do I recommend this case? Absolutely compared to last year's. That's for sure. This thing was hot trash with this power button and these volume rockers. No joke, I couldn't stand it. Much, much improved this year. So there you have it, the SV wallet case for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. If you have any questions or comments about this case, please drop them down in the comments section below. Really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.